Om Shanti. Today is your 57th day of your beautiful and special Vardhan. And in this Vardhan, we're going to talk about how can we be independent and not be dependent upon so many things. Independence means that you are independent of any of the negative impure thoughts or any dependency of anything outside, whether it's a person, whether it's your own body, whether it's your wealth, whether it's your name in the society and many more things. So God says, I have come here to give you mukti or liberation. But we tie ourselves up with so many names and titles and positions and posts that we think that we are religious by going to a temple or a mosque or a gurdwara. But that itself doesn't guarantee us that we are going to be liberated because liberation means being liberated from so many deeper layers that we have created for ourselves. Just like thinking about your own skin color, just like thinking about your height of your body, thinking about how good looking you are, or how this shirt suits you or that dress suits you, right? All those things are also things which are actually making us not be liberated from so many things in life. And that becomes one of the reasons for not feeling content in life. Sometimes we are happy, sometimes we are sad. Let's explore what all things Baba has covered today or God has covered today in this beautiful Vardhan so as to make us more and more strong and powerful. So Baba says, may you be a master almighty authority. We can only become master almighty authority. When we start thinking like an incognito or incorporeal being, the supreme being, he doesn't have a body. So he doesn't think whether he's handsome or he's beautiful. He doesn't have those kind of thoughts. He doesn't have a house down on earth. He doesn't drive a Mercedes Benz or any other car. He doesn't have an Ashton Martin. So he doesn't think about whether I'm rich or poor. But he is rich in what sense? He's richer in qualities, in values, in the knowledge of the creation of the world. Think about you getting that knowledge, that divine knowledge. Getting the knowledge about those powerful thoughts, how to become pure, how to make your thoughts powerful, how to meditate and make your mind focused. Imagine those powerful strengths which you can gain through God the Father, which He has got directly onto you. So that's it. That is what God is all about. But we think He's Almighty Authority, so He might make a dead person alive, but well, dead spiritually, alive, awakened from death. That is what he does. He literally makes impure souls who have become lustful, angry, greedy, egoistic, jealous, are dead spiritually into somebody who is pure, loving, kind, generous. That means alive. So let's explore what exactly Baba tries to say over here. Baba says, may you be a master almighty authority and finish any bondage of dependency on others and thereby experience true independence. So Baba says, in order to give the donation of all powers to the world, I first need to have the powers within me. If I'm dependent upon comments like, you're looking good, you're looking handsome today. Well, I cannot be able, I cannot be somebody who's taking those kind of comments and giving other people spiritual knowledge. Because that is, I'm accepting bodily knowledge, bodily acceptance. I'm dependent on other people for my happiness. Today if I get a comment that you're looking good, I feel happy. Tomorrow if nobody comments on me, I feel sad. That is known as dependency on others or partantra. So God says in order to give the donation of all powers to the world, become an independent soul. I cannot be accepting those kind of things from anybody. When I have to give spiritual strength to others. That's what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. Baba says, let the foremost independence be from relationship with old bodies. These bodies are old in the last birth, Baba says. Because dependency on bodies ties you in many bondages, even against your conscious wish. We are not conscious that a comment on my physical features, or the dress I am wearing, or the car I am driving, or the shoes I am wearing, or the way my eyes look, or the way my hair is done today. All those comments can have any effect on me or my spiritual powers. But slowly and slowly they make me poisoned. They are poisoning me to depend upon them for my self-worth. Now when I do that, 
what exactly is happening over a period of time i develop a sanskar and when nobody is actually making me feel beautiful or commenting on my beauty out of beauty or handsomeness or whatever it is when we age up as the body ages up that's the time when we ask ourselves the real question who am i what is my real beauty why aren't people looking at me anymore so then baba says that is the dependency on the old body and that is where the sadness comes in so what's my real strength what's my real value as being a child of god so baba says dependency always brings you down and makes you experience distress and a stage that is completely dry no support is clearly visible for such souls yes yeah, suddenly what happens people don't flock around you people don't look at you people don't see you if you're rich everybody is yours if you suddenly lose everything nobody looks at you so what's my true value then that's where spirituality comes in because somebody or the other is going through that experience today yes your own relatives don't remain yours your own friends don't remain yours anymore once you are rich they are yours so what is the true relationship then that is the dependency on others and also on the body right if i'm wearing good clothes everybody is looking at me and if i'm not then nobody is looking at me everybody is looking at the jewelry which i am wearing today if i am rich and when i am not wearing i have lost it all nobody gives me a heed so baba says no support is clearly visible for such souls who are depending on these things on the body and the bodily features and bodily things and many other things of this body they neither experience sorrow nor happiness as though they are stuck in the middle of an ocean imagine that life it is known as a life which has no essence in it so be a master almighty authority and become free from all bondages that's what we learn in brahma kumari so how to free ourselves from these bondages how to become spiritual and soul conscious not body conscious we meditate on that celebrate the day of your true independence so that is what is all about independence and holy actually is a day which actually talks about how to be independent of all these things and how to be colored by the colors of god the true spiritual colors so i leave you with this beautiful beautiful vardhan and have a blessed day today om shanti Thank you.